Good evening, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody had them a good Sunday today. It's so on up in the evening. We're ready to get in here and get our supper right and get done for the evening and kick back and rest, right? Got to start all over tomorrow. So, um, we're working on it in here. Uh, Buzz got him a, uh, he had bought one of those roasted, no, smoked turkeys from the uh, FFA kids. And we finally decided we'd get that thing out. So I got it today and cut it up. And we got us some legs and thighs in there and stuff. I'm going to use the breast for some other things that I want to do. But I just got that in the oven. Uh, getting heated up in there because it's fully cooked already. So that makes it easy. But it's juicy and got the skin on it and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to finish kind of roasting it out in the oven. But what I'm working on for our side dish is it's um, Alfredo Brussels and Bacon. Okay? And I'm not going to make a full recipe of this thing. And really, y'all, it doesn't have to have measurements. It doesn't. It, what y'all see me doing, you just kind of, you just make however many you want. You know, however many Brussels sprouts you decide you want in there and this and that, you know. What I have here is like an 8-ounce bag of them. And these were the frozen ones. And I got them, and I've got them cut in half. And they're still just a little bit frozen, okay? And I took me some bacon pieces. And I've already done that so I could have the jump on it. And I've cut me up, I don't know, about six bacon slices. How many bacon bites you want in there, right? Um, and cut them up and got them fried up crispy. Took them out and got them to the side. So now I have me some bacon drippings. I, I, I think I'm going to pour some of that out of there just a little bit. You want to leave some in there because... We're fixing to take these Brussels sprouts, and uh, I'm just going to put them in this bacon dripping. And I want to get them kind of browned up a little on the edges and stuff, right? Well, I have me some bow tie pasta here, and you want to cook it kind of al dente, right? So I've got, uh, I had a 12-ounce box of it, and I didn't use all of that for this, for the amount for us that I want, Okay. I'm going to turn that fire up because I want these to, I just want these to brown a little bit on the edges. I'm going to go ahead because I don't want my bow tie pasta to cook any more than it's already cooked, but I need me some of this um, pasta water out of here. So I'm just going to get me a cup and dip it in here. That ought to be good enough. Take you about a cup out and you'll have probably more than you need. We'll go ahead and drain my pasta now so we'll stop cooking. Get that done. Okay, while that's draining, I'm gonna get these Brussels sprouts seasoned up. I'm gonna get me some uh, garlic powder going here. You know, you do it however much you want in there, right? Season it to taste. Some garlic powder, some black pepper, some salt. That ought to be good. Okay. And I have waiting on me. Uh, while that's brown, and I've got I've got a little old piece of a jug of a heavy whipping cream, but not just the heavy cream here. Yeah, it's the heavy whipping cream. That's what it is. But if I had half and half or whatever, if you ain't got that, use milk. Okay. But it's just a little old dab of it left in there. And then I got me a bag of the shredded Parmesan cheese, y'all. So that's waiting on me. I have to get these browned up first. It's best to, uh, you can stir them around just a little bit. But it's best not to keep stirring them because they'll come apart on you, right? And you want to keep them in their little uh, halves. I'm going to get these browned up, and um, when I get that done, then I'll show you how we put the rest of it together. It won't be but a minute. Okay, so here they are in the pan, see? I've got them kind of browned about like that, right? So I'm just going to take them and take them up over here and put them on this plate with my bacon for the moment. And get them out of here.
See, this will make the perfect size little old dish for Buzz and I. I can, uh, if I think about it, I'll read y'all the exact recipe on the double thing for, like, making for, for your family or something, okay? But, all right. So now my fire's still going. Uh, that's all my goodies in my skillet. I'm going to take me some of this uh, pasta water. And gently pour that in there. Okay? And I had about a half a cup in this one. And now I'm going to pour me some of this cream in it. And stir this around. See all that goody in there? All that uh, garlic that I had in there and stuff is roasted in it. And the pieces of the roasted... Uh, Brussels sprouts. I can't even think this evening. Okay, I'm going to turn that up. Let me turn it up and let it get it going here a minute. Because we're going to let it let it kind of sort of thicken, okay? I'm going to just let it... I mean, it don't have to be thick, thick, right? But we want to give it a second to break down a little bit. And stir it around in there. I mean, it don't have to be, you know, thick or nothing like that. I'm just saying, let it cook a minute. That's all. Just don't let it burn on the bottom of the skillet. Okay, let me turn my fire back down now. And now I'm just going to take me some of this uh, Parmesan. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, y'all. I'm just going to sprinkle... That's about half of it. What is this six ounce bag? So see that that six ounce bag would probably work perfect for the full recipe, right? So I'm gonna let this get that cheese melted. Stir it around in there. Get it creamy. Because now, as soon as I can get this broke down, like we're wanting, you still got a few little pieces in there, but that don't bother me none. What I'm going to do now is get my um, pasta. Make sure it's drained good. And I'm going to put my pasta in here. Ooh, this is hard one-handed. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, I got my pasta in here. Now, I have it on my hands. This is hard one-handed, y'all. I guess I could have set the little stand up, huh? That's what I get for being lazy, I guess. Okay, so now... I'm just going to take it and coat the pasta really good. I still have my fire going. But I want to make sure my pasta is really coated, okay? See where I'm going with that? Okay. Now I'm going to turn my fire off. My pasta's coated, everything's seasoned, and I'm just going to take my Brussels sprouts and my bacon and put them in here. Now, get this stirred up together. Y'all, this is good stuff right here. This is a good side dish with anything. Anything. 
Some people use um, uh, the green, the little green peas. Um, I guess you could use anything in it you wanted if you didn't want the Brussels sprouts or whatever, but we love good Brussels sprouts. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it over here in this. I'm gonna go ahead and sit y'all. Let me see if I can turn this thing back around. It won't let me. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now I've got my little baking dish here. I'm just gonna take it. Put it up in there like that. spoon okay now we've got everything in there together try to distribute it out good and now I'm going to take me a little bit more of this parm just a little and sprinkle it on the top and we're gonna set it in the oven. Tell you what I am gonna do. I got just a dabble of this cream left and I'm just gonna do that just because. Just put it down in there. That'll work just fine. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the oven. I've got the oven, look at it. I've got the oven on uh, 400 and I'm just gonna put it in there long enough to let the cheese kind of toast a little bit very lightly on the top and it gets bubbling and stuff. All right, y'all, it had been about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, something like that. And uh, it, it's as far as far as I want it on, on the cooking, on the top or whatever. Cause I don't want it to sit there and dry out. Let me set it over here where I can show y'all. I should have scooted it over where I could show you this, how we got our turkey thing, <coughs> our turkey thing going on. Because this is absolutely all buzzard and buzzing I need. Let me see. Look at it right there. Can you see it? Doesn't that look good? You know that's good with that Alfredo sauce and your bow tie pasta and your Brussels sprouts that were kind of stir fried in the garlic and salt and pepper and then your bacon bites. And I got my, um, I just did us a couple of legs and one thigh. That's all we needed for Buzz and I in here. That smoked turkey done up in the oven. So that's what we're going to work on that and our, um, orange poke cake that I made. So we're going to have us a good meal, finish this weekend off nicely, and I hope y'all get to do the same. Y'all try some of these things. That's um, Alfredo, Brussels, and bacon. Okay? See you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.